so uh yeah i forgot to record some highlights of hbcu games while alabama state was, was playing florida my bad that won't happen no more for the rest of the season i promise so here go the rest of the scores from the sweat we beat florida in gainesville grambling came up short against boise state purdue had a decent win versus bethune cookman arkansas pine bluff went through the woodshed with arizona state but they lost Syracuse beat Alabama A&M. Prairie View lost to Northwestern. Kansas State beat Mississippi Valley State. Next one, oh yeah, Southern, I believe that is South Missouri, if I'm not mistaken, South Missouri State. They beat the crap out of them. And then Florida A&M won. They beat East Carolina. Dang, 52 to six. 52 to six, look at that. They scored 24 points in the second quarter, 14 in the third. Eastern Carolina just had no answer. North Carolina State beat Alcorn State 45-28. Texas Southern beat the Yukon Huskies by one. Jackson State came up short versus Penn State. So here goes the update on the Heisman watch. We have Courtney Russell representing the Alabama Crimson Tide. Didn't have that great of a game though against Navy. Hopefully he can improve and hopefully he can stay on this list, but we're not worried about him. Thomas Cook, the LSU quarterback, comes in in second place. He moved up. Ryan James, Texas Tech quarterback. Remember, we got to play them later on this season. As well as David Williams, the halfback. And then at the bottom, I have no idea why, but Gene Singleton is at the bottom of the list. That makes no sense after that performance he had. So Southern quarterback Andrew Wilson, Sean, and Sean Edwards of Grambling State take offensive of defensive SWAT players of the week. Both players balled out. Tyler Noah and Thomas Williams, both representing the Delaware State Hornets, they win Offensive and Defensive Players of the Week for the MEAC. Look at Noah though, 11 catches, 153 yards, and four touchdowns. My goodness. So there we go. We went down to Gainesville, we took care of business, and we're continuing to move up on the polls. So as you can see now, we are the number 13 team in the country. We got the Iowa State Cyclones coming to town. Don't worry, we play Texas Tech after that. Don't worry. But yeah, we'll see y'all in the gump town. Peace.